Hello students, uh, today I am here again with uh, something uh, important for you people to understand because uh, uh, we have been doing uh, the preparation of, uh, I mean this shift phase called uh, benzaline aniline by reacting aniline with benzaldehyde. So today I thought that I should explain you a step a uh, very important step of the reaction mechanism uh, when you react aniline with benzaldehyde and you got a shift base. So I'm your teacher, your professor, Professor Dr. Moina Mogul from, of course, not from Dr. Amikazi right now, but of course from Dr. Amikazi Institute of Chemistry, University of St. Jamshara. So I'm here to explain you the reaction mechanism of benzaldehyde aniline and aniline, right? This is aniline and benzaldehyde to form give us benzaldehyde aniline which is also called a shift base so what is a shift base shift base simply when you react a, a primary aromatic amine with a aldehyde you are going to get of course a compound called shift base right so shift bases are very interesting i mean uh, compounds and there are uh, thousands and hundreds of applications of shift bases right um so we will discuss that further but first you should know how you are going to form a ship base in this reaction right so uh, now here we have the two compounds that is aniline that is this a benzene ring with an h2 group and a benzaldehyde that is again a benzene ring with an aldehyde group over this position right so nh2 of this aniline has a lone pair you can see a lone pair over here and uh, now here if you look at this compound we have carbon double bond bonded to oxygen so uh, this um, uh, carbon double bond of oxygen is always electron deficient right so now what will happen that the lone pair of nitrogen will attack on this carbon resulting that the electrons that are bonding these uh, this oxygen to an oxygen and carbon together they will be move shift towards uh, this oxygen right forming uh, what will happen after this of course um, we, our transition product will be formed right which is this one and here you can simply see um, that this uh, formation of uh, this when the lone pair will be i mean the attack with this carbon you are going to get the structure right now here you can see that carbon is holding an, an oh group and an amine group which is uh, which uh, i mean um, is not uh, at all appropriate to retain its stability so it should lose something so this is a transition product this product is a transition product this is formed uh, for some time and it is uh, not a permanent product it's called carbinol amine this product is called carbinolamine so now what will happen that uh, this uh, carbinolamine will when you will heat the compound and you'll see in the china dishes i'll explain you to the channel you will see the vapors of uh, water vapors so now what will happen at that time uh, some sort of a condensation is going on a condensation reaction is going on so what happens that oh from here and uh, h from this amine it will be removed they will be removed here you can see a water molecule when you heat them and you are going to left with your shift base that is n double bond ch this is an uh, amino group right this is called an amine amine formation or a Im amino group right if somebody asks you what is a shift base or how you will identify that your shift base is formed you will simply say that n double bond ch is the group that confirms the that our compound is a shift base this is a this amino group the presence of amino group confirms the presence of a shift base that your shift base is formed and what this compound we got in the end benzaladine aniline right a shift base so this was the reaction basically uh, we took the i mean equal amounts of aniline and benzaldehyde in the china dish and then we heated it for some time and then we got this product that is carbinolamine which uh, was there for some time and then when the you found the globules of water the uh, an oily globules mixed with water on at the top surface of the i mean china dish 
they you will simply see that the condens some sort of condensation was going on and at that time the product um in the, the compound i mean uh, uh, it starts uh, crystallizing and you will got to know that condensation has start water molecule is removed and um, you got the product you are left with your uh, shoe paste that is called benzaldehyde aniline when you react aniline with benzaldehyde right you got this product called benzaldehyde aniline a shift base right so this is how the reaction mechanism goes on uh, to prepare benzaldehyde aniline or benzyl aniline right by reacting equi equal amounts of aniline and benzaldehyde together so this reaction was uh, very i mean interesting and um, uh, you know these this is uh, the condensation reaction as you got a shift base in the end right so uh, now there are some questions regarding this uh, experiment that why the reaction mixture was stirred frequently for 30 minutes so you must answer these questions you should be ready for to answer the questions and questions like what are shift bases what are imines okay and what could be the uses of this compound be formed in the end that is called benzaldehyde aniline so these are very important things and very interesting things to i mean uh, uh, to look for to find out as you can say that uh, it has something to do with the uh, uh, electrophilic carbon atoms of aldehyde and ketones right that can i mean target um, the i mean nucleo or they can be targeted by the nucleophilic attack by amines right so this also happens and the end result or the end product you got in which the what happens that the carbonyl group that is c double bond o group it is replaced by which group of course this c double bond n right and this is this type of reaction is simply called condensation reaction and this and formation of a shear base in the end we got so i hope you find this mechanism interesting and you will follow it and you will go through all the steps of this reaction mechanism maybe you will add some more details to it and write it down in your journals or your notebooks uh, so that you can i mean um, go through uh, easily in for your examinations and that will help you out this whole process it will help you out i mean somebody can ask you to write down the mechanism it's a very short mechanism so somebody can ask you i may ask you in your exams about how, about how just write down the reaction mechanism to form benzaldehyde aniline so you have at least you must draw this much so that you can i mean um, make your examiner satisfied that yes you know how the reaction goes on right so uh, i hope you find it interesting and you will learn it so that's it for today thank you very much uh, so hello students this is your professor dr moina again so i thought that i must uh, explain you something about shift base today as you just uh, learned uh, a reaction mechanism and you just uh, i mean went through a uh, reaction uh, of uh, and benzaldehyde with the aniline to get a product called a shift base so i thought that i must now i mean show you what is the basic general structure of a shift base so this is the general structure of a shift base right this is the structure of shift base now here you can see carbon is doubly bonded to n and there are three r1 r2 and r3 groups now what could be these three r's these are of course r1 r2 and r3 are alkyl all aryl groups now what is an alkyl group what is an aryl group somebody can ask you so please go through these terms because this is also of very i mean basic uh, um, basic basic chemistry so please go through them so who was the great man who prepared or who got the idea to form i mean to replace a carbonyl group that is c double bond o with um, with an amine that is c double bond nh he was the man hugo schiff h-u-g-o hugo schiff was the great scientist who reacted amines with carbonyl compounds right so uh, I mean, uh, he was the man who did all this effort to get this mm, enormous, this uh, beautiful compound, this dynamic compound called shift base that has enormous applications, right? So 
they they hold a lot of importance and they are simply formed by polycondensation of diamines with various dicarbonyl compounds right so what is the exact definition of shift bases that these are formed by the polycondensation of diamines with various dicarbonyl compounds now they all hold an effective coordination right uh, as conjugation effective conjugation systems they have effective conjugation systems um and now if you go, come to their uses and applications you ha can find them in the coordination chemistry now again a question arises what is a question coordination chemistry go through this term coordination chemistry what is this coordination chemistry it has something to do with your inorganic chemistry okay so that means some sort of a ligands. Shift bases are also called ligands, right? What are ligands? Please go through these terms. So, okay. So number two, I found this interesting. These are compounds having enormous applications. In which fields? Of course, in medicinal science, right? And in medical fields, they are used, right? In chemical industries, right? They are used in number of uh, ways in the chemical industrial sites, right? And number third, as antimicrobial agents, that is another thing which is not, I mean, you are not familiar with, that is they hold the property to be an antimicrobial agents. They are, they have enormous properties to be an, um, you know, uh, an, uh, to be, uh, to act as an, 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 as an antimicrobial agents. So they have, they are the compounds that have been used in several natural food samples also. And if you talk about metals, shift base metal lines are used for detoxification of water by um, simply the organic pollutants, right? And the C and relationship of shift base is an essential feature of its bioactivity. That is, this activity it is also called antimicrobial activity is also called bioactivity. And there are other things that also comes under the category of bioactivity. So, um, the, these shift based compounds now, they are now used as representative biological oxygen ring, ringing system for molecules, right? And they, these polymers, uh, if you react them with some, I mean, in other thing, if you want to form a polymer with them, you can polymerize them also easily uh, with the, and to get the polymers and those polymers are called shift based polymers, right? And uh, they have the conjugated of carbon-carbon double bond and carbon-nitrogen bonds. And they always been gaining the attention of the researchers due to their several aspects. So now this was a brief idea about the ship base who was formed by this, uh, who was, uh, I mean, got into our knowledge by this man the hugo shift right and this was the structure of the shift base these are some of the uses and applications of shift bases i just explained to you so please keep these all information for yourself and please learn it properly go through the shift bases properties the applications of shift bases their uses right and go through this reaction mechanism then you will find this topic more interesting more easy to learn and more i mean um, and more with more interest you are going to learn it so i hope you like this uh, brief knowledge or brief points that i just mentioned to you about the structure of a ship base general structure of a ship base what are the alkyl or aryl groups that are attached to it and who was the scientist who actually i mean uh, is behind all that uh, on this enormous compound right and um, who who reacted these amines with carbonyl compounds and you got a ship based product so a ship base as a product so and i explained you though some of the ex ap ex ex uh, applications and uses also these are just the few, only three applications I told you. I just mentioned earlier that they have hundreds, thousands of applications, right? So please go through other applications also that how they are used for in medicinal science, right? How they are used in chemical industries, how they are used as an antimicrobial agents. Please go through the details and learn from some good books you can um, i can uh, suggest you uh, tw graham solomon's right he was a great man i mean he has a great book he has uh, written this great book and i just love the book that is solomon's we just call it solomon's if you ask for solomon's you will get that book easily 
go through that book right and uh, there are other books also i will mention in the description of this video you just go through the books and get the knowledge of this experimental side of organic chemistry that is very interesting unfortunately i'm not available to you right now i mean due to the covid the covid situation uh we are all i mean again uh back to our from to our this i mean it is to the virtual classes again so let's enjoy this time again inshallah hopefully we will meet again in the lab and we will in, uh, i will perform and i will show you how to form a shape base because it just takes up uh, i just as i just mentioned earlier almost 30 to 40 40 to 50 minutes or one hour hardly one hour to form a shape base a proper ship base and how you are going to identify that whether your ship base is formed there are two uh, um, very important ways number one you will f see a formation of c double bond nh bond that is this group this group if this group is there that means your ship base is formed right and number two if you simply record the ftir ftir is the four year um, uh, uh, transform um, it's called uh, um it's it's an instrument that records the i mean uh, different peaks right it will give you the different functional groups that are attached in your uh, compound and if you simply take the uh, the record if you record the ftir graph of the ship base you will come to know a certain peak that identifies the presence of uh shift base right it comes around 1600 something right 1600 uh 16 1620 like this and you will get to know it starts from i think 1520 to 1600 something you will get the a very sharp peak indicating a presence of a shift base right so this is also one of the one of the ways to find out that whether your compound is your ship base is formed or not that you gotta first of all you gotta this group that is just a carbonyl group is replaced by an azomethyl group and then of course this this group is this group is formed as a and carbonyl group is eliminated whereas as it goes through the process of condensation and you got a ship base right and number two is you will record the ftir that is Fourier transform infrared spectrophotometer, right? So you simply go through that technique and you will come to know the exact peak of your compound. You will put that, it, it, that is also a very interesting thing. You will put a small portion of your compound in the instrument and that instrument, a dry portion, and yet that instrument, it records and it will tell you how, that how many functional groups are present in your prepared compound. And a, a specific peak will come that indicates the presence of a ship base right so these are the few things which you are supposed to i mean put in your mind to uh, have a knowledge about uh, the structure of a ship base the uh, i mean how you are going to identify a ship base in an organic compound how you are going to prepare a ship base what uses ship bases are um, can are given and what type of applications uh, are there for a ship base so here how i hope you like this uh, i mean lecture interesting today i hope you will get the knowledge i hope you will try to understand all about the ship bases now and you will learn the things i mentioned you mentioned to you so please go through them and uh, learn and try to get as much knowledge as you can because nowadays you are free you are home so please go through these details you can be asked these questions in your exams right because i am there again your dr moin amol will meet you in your exam so please go through each and everything i am explaining you again and again go through each and every lecture i have uploaded and it, it's been since months i've been uploading the lectures regarding your theory and regarding your practical examinations and practical work so please go through them go through my lectures again and again so that you can get the idea of what we are doing right so thank you very much see you next time